As we start working with Rhino objects, it becomes important to be able to select individual vertices or pieces or faces. There are a number of selection filters and snaps that help with uh, selecting objects in Rhino. These can be turned on at the very bottom menu down here or through the pen panels. We can turn on or off object snapping by clicking the O snap option down here at the bottom. Similarly, we can also turn on and off our object filter by clicking the filter button down here at the bottom. The object filter allows us to turn on or off what objects will be selected For instance, I can turn off meshes in the object filter. Now I will be unable to select any mesh in Rhino. Turning meshes back on now allows me to select my meshes again. Our object snap allows us to snap to certain types of objects when performing different operations. For instance, if I were to create a line using the line command, the default options will simply create these points the line on the construction plane. However, I can turn on vertex Snap, and now I can snap my selection to individual mesh vertices. There are many other snaps that allow us to identify specific selection points. The endpoint snap allows us to snap to line endpoints. Near snap will allow us to snap to any location on a line or a curve. The point snap will allow us to snap our selection to individual points, excluding mesh vertices. The midpoint snap will allow us to snap to the midpoint of a line or a curve. 